Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome and please consider subscribing and then hitting that notification bell below. Uh, really excited for today's beer, as I always am. Uh, it's courtesy of Reed from, uh, you might know him if you watch the Nerd Sense guys. Some, he's good friends with them and sometimes he posts, or he um, uh, is on their videos. And uh, he was nice enough and gave me this bottle. It's a collaboration with Trillium and the Vale Brewing. It's Macaroon Imperial Stout Brew with Coconut and Brown Sugar, 12.3% ABV. And the date is pretty smudged. Um, so I can't tell when it was actually bottled. But um, I've had macaroons. I know they have coconut in them. But I, I, don't, I haven't had enough of them or had one recently enough where I'll feel confident telling you how, like how close that taste is mixed in with the stout. So um, I won't be able to do that, but I will tell you if I like it or not, what I do pick out of it. And maybe if I do taste it, oh man, there's tons of, is that brown sugar? A bunch of like sediment. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's the brown sugar that didn't ferment or something. Okay, I'm intrigued, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, so yeah, I'll tell you what I get out of it. It didn't really stick on my finger well enough to show you. But um, yeah, there was definitely some sediment stuck on the uh, side of the glass there. Um, yeah, speaking of sticking on the side of the glass. Alright, so... Nice legs. I was trying to see, yeah, there, there definitely is sediment. I don't know if the camera will pick up on that or not. There's definitely sediment sticking on the side of the glass there. I'm going to assume it's that sugar. Um, that maybe didn't ferment, but maybe it's like super ground up coconut. Anyway, sorry. Reed, thank you. Uh, everyone watching this, make sure you go check out the Nerd Sense guys. They're awesome. Um, but anyway, let's get into, yeah, what it really looks like. As you can see, the head went down quickly. Um, it's... It's kind of like um, really dark cola. Yeah, like you can see through it a little bit when I do it like this. Um, it's black in the center. I mean, if you look at it, you'd be like, this is black. But it's not pitch, but pitch black. It's not motor oil. Um, yeah, the head went su down super quickly, which I'm thinking, you know, adjuncts the residual oil from the coconut um, uh, could kill the head. And yeah, again, lots of like stuff sticking to the side. It has me curious. Let's see what it smells like. As I always try to think, you know, like if I was doing this blind, you know, and I didn't know that it had adjuncts, what I would think. The mix of the coconut, the sweetness from the sugar, and some of the booze coming through, I probably would have guessed this was uh, barrel aged, just because those are big things I get in barrel, you know, obviously. Some of that, like, roast of a stout fights through as well, but it's... It's interesting. It's very sweet smelling, but it doesn't smell full on like dessert pastry stout either. But it it, it definitely smells like a. It's just odd because it does have such a sweet aroma. Maybe because the alcohol is coming through, not a ton, but like enough. I don't know. It, it's just it's interesting. Some uh, berries. But yeah, that's about it. It's good, but it's not overly complex of an aroma. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. It drinks a lot thicker than I would have thought based on the look. Not that it looked thin, but it, again, it wasn't motor oil. And it drinks like how I would think a beer that looks like motor oil would drink. So it's it's very coating. It's very syrupy. Not surprising, given the ABV, so how much malt was used to get that ABV up, plus the sugar addition. I'm not surprised it's brown sugar, specifically, uh, given this taste. It, it is reminiscent of, I can't say, again, specifically this cookie, but it, it does kind of remind... Like, I think I don't have brown sugar a lot, um, sometimes in cookies, and then sometimes in oatmeal. But I haven't made oatmeal in a long time, uh, and it's certainly the last time last however many times I was just putting maple syrup in it. So it's been a while since I've just had brown sugar uh, in something, short version. 
Um, but I can, it, it is reminding me of what that taste is. The coconut, not dominant. I don't know as an adjunct if coconut fades quickly or not, but it's not, it's not punching me in the face. And given the aroma, I thought there'd be more, more co coconut. The, same with the alcohol, there is some warmth. And I, oh, I'm drinking this at, like, it just took out my beer fridge, which was at 50 degrees. So I'm drinking this maybe 51 degrees at this point. So relatively cool, but certainly not room temperature. Maybe some things will come out more when it, you know, warms up, like the coconut. But, um, kind of like the aroma. Well, no, it's... It's sweeter. It's sweeter than I thought from the aroma. It's as sweet as I thought when I just read that there was an addition of sugar in it. I think because of that brown sugar, which reminded me of that um, no rules and like what that bait, what I think that base beer might smell like or taste like too. It's close to cloingly sweet, actually, the more I'm drinking it. There's a little bit of a black licorice anise thing. This is just all right for me. Um, th this is, uh, <laughs> I'll be sipping this for a while. It, th this is gonna take a while. Uh, actually, I might cork it and do it over a course of a day or two, or two or three, I should say. I could see, I could see that, I could, yeah, I could see palate fatigue on this. And yeah, like the roast, it's just okay. It's probably pretty obvious. This is, this is just okay for me. Um, really glad I got to try it though. Trillium, crushes it so much um they're actually one of my favorite breweries um i think they nail a lot of styles this one's a dud even amazing breweries have duds for me this is a dud actually um yeah uh, i'm just too nice of a guy it's okay but it's a dud uh thanks again Reed. I really appreciate it again check out the nerd sense guys they're awesome um check me out on instagram on tap no hype beer reviews at both those places so please, please like comment subscribe and most importantly imbibe cheers everyone